built Jim Melton right here. Michael Johnson will soon be behind the wheel on a full-time basis. But before he can get in the driver's seat, it locks in perfectly. He's learning everything he can from bumper to bumper. I wanted to get on the road and uh, travel and see things and earn more money than what I was making. About 900 students come to the Roadmaster Driver School a year in Orlando. Graduates are needed more than anything. COVID hit, a lot of drivers retired. Schools could no longer produce as many students because of social distancing and some states closed down completely. Ball also credits the boom of e-commerce during the pandemic. Before committing to obtaining a truck driver's license, Michael saw the boom firsthand as an Amazon delivery driver. I'm really not that surprised because uh, the, the earth runs on trucks. So if you got a plane that, that lands and it has a, a lot of packages, a truck has to pick it up and deliver it to the, the station or wherever it got to land at. Currently, truck drivers must be at least 21 years of age. But leaders in Washington are now seeking lowering the minimum age to 18 for interstate drivers to help with finding drivers. Roadmaster Driver School reports that 89% of all their graduates out of 6,500 get job placements right after completing the course. That means as soon as they're done, they can go to work. I just really wanted to get into it so I can make, make a lot of money because it was growing up. I seen more of my friends getting into it and I mean, it, it could have been a good start for me from Amazon to being a truck driver. Starting pay for a new licensed truck driver ranges from fifty to $60,000 a year with benefits. And there's no pay gap tied to race or gender. So everybody gets paid by the mile. So basically, this, this career is open to anyone. Trucks are on standby to be pulled out, but all across the country, they need people to climb in and get started.